Good evening, Karen. Good evening, Karen. How are you tonight? Good evening. I am fine, teacher, and you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. How was your day today? Uh, I'm really relaxed. <laughs> Relax. Okay. Yes. Good evening, Guille. How are you tonight? Uh, thank you very, uh, very well, teacher. Thank you. And what about you? I am fine. Thanks for asking. Uh, good to see you, teacher, again. Okay, it's good to see you. Especially that this is going to be 
our four last days, okay? Yeah, for the year though, okay? Okay. Good evening, uh, Antonio, how are you tonight? Good evening, I'm fine, thank you. You, teacher, how are you today? I am fine, thanks for asking, very good. Okay, I hope more students join tonight, okay? Okay. Yes. But okay. this is this week is the is the uh, our last. Is the last, our right? Week. Yeah, this is our last week. But in the course, I I check it. Say, uh, let me let me see. Let me see. Give me one moment. Say this course is ending in two weeks on no. the seventh. This course is ending on Thursday. This Thursday. Thursday is 17. Uh, so uh, you should uh, you shouldn't to, to change this information. Can you see my screen? Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, but this is mm. ending. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell them. But this is ending uh, on on the 617. This Thursday. Okay, I, I have I have a question with this course. Can you help mm -hmm. me? Yeah, sure, no problem. Uh, let, me, let me check, let me check. The progress. Give me one moment, the progress. And this is, let's celebrate. I have a question, I don't understand what happened with this part. For example, what? Okay, because the answer should be this. Uh, this. In, what is and what's up? Okay. Uh, have you seen the WhatsApp? Because I send these these answers to the WhatsApp group. Uh, let me check in the WhatsApp group. Yeah, to the WhatsApp group. Uh, okay. Thank you. I'm sorry, but uh, uh -huh. the, last, the thing uh, is that you have to that you have week, to I you have to. Uh, write the answers be, uh, beginning with a capital letter, okay? For example, is a carnival. So the I has to be a capital I. And at the end, you have to put a period. Otherwise, the platform won't recognize, even though the answer is correct. If you have those uh, uh, punctuation mistakes, uh, the platform won't recognize the answer. Okay, so I send the answers to the WhatsApp group so you can see them. Okay. Okay. Let me let me check. Okay. Good evening, uh, Maria Ernestina. How are you tonight? Hi. Thank you. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Very good. How was your day today? I am sick, teacher. I am cold. Ah, you I have am, a cold. I, yes, I have fever and I feel very bad because I I received the class English tonight. Okay, I hope that you feel better, okay? Thank you, teacher, thank you. Okay, very good. Mario, how are you tonight, Mario? Good evening, teacher. Sorry, but I am, I am getting my dinner <laughs> right now. Ah, okay, I got you. Good evening, yeah. Alexandra. How are you tonight? Turn on your microphone, Alexandra. Hello, Alexandra. Are you there? Okay, guys. First of all, I just want to share with you this that uh, just for your information, okay? So. You remember about the gerunds and the chore responses. So when you have, I like, I love, I enjoy, I hate, the possible answer is if you also do that, you're gonna say, so do I, so do I, so do I. Or, oh, if you disagree, oh, I don't, I don't. Really, I like it. Okay, so those are the possible responses. If 
the sentences begin with I am good at or I am interested in with the verb to be. So the answer is so am I. And G, I'm not if you disagree. Those are for the affirmative ones. Now for the negative, I don't mind. So I go, neither do I. And if I disagree, well, I do. And the negatives with the verb to be, I'm not good at the possible answers. If you agree is neither am I. Or if you disagree with this statement, well, I am. Then I can't stand because you do it with the auxiliary can, neither can I. Or if you disagree, oh, I don't mind. Okay, for example, take a look. I like snowboarding. So do I. Or I don't. I'm sorry. I hate riding the train in the morning. So do I. Or really? I like it. I can't stand waiting for the bus. Neither can I, if you agree. Or I don't mind. I don't mind doing homework for this class. So neither do I or, well, I do. I, I do mind doing homework for this class. I'm interested in taking to foreign, to talk in talking to foreign students. So am I, if you agree or, gee, I'm not, if you disagree. I'm good at memorizing dialogues. So am I or, gee. I'm not. I love walking to the school every day. So do I, or I don't, if you disagree. I enjoy playing with dogs. If you agree, so do I. If you disagree, oh, I don't. I'm not, a, I'm not good at pronouncing English. Neither am I, or if you disagree, well, I am. And I hate coming to this class. So do I, and if you disagree, really? I love this class. Is that clear? Of course. Okay, so these are just examples of uh, when, when they begin sentences with these gerunds and the short responses, okay? So I send that to the group, okay? It's in the group today, okay. okay? So I'm gonna get out of here and good evening, Ivan, how are you tonight? Good evening, teacher, I'm good, thanks. What about okay, you? Okay, good evening, uh, Cindy, how are you tonight? Good evening, very good, teacher, how are you? I'm fine, thanks for asking, and good evening, Guadalupe, how are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. I'm okay, thank you. Very good, and good evening, Alexandra. How are you tonight? Good evening, teacher. I'm very good, thank you. Okay, very good. Now, what is for us tonight? Okay, so let me share what do we have here. So first, we're gonna come Okay, can you see what we have on the on the screen? Yes. Pronunciation. On release and release T and D. Listen and practice. Notice the sound T or D at the end of a word is followed by a consonant. Is on release. <laughs> When it's followed by a vowel sound, it is released. So listen carefully, please. Are you ready? Here we go. When it is followed by a vowel sound, it is released. 
on release. She's not good at math and science. I hate working on Sundays. You need to manage money well. Release. He's not a good artist. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. Okay, let's do it again. Page 65, exercise four. Page 65, exercise four. Pronunciation. Unreleased and released. And d. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice when the sound t or d at the end of a word is followed by a consonant, it is unreleased. When it is followed by a vowel sound, it is released. Unreleased. She's not good at math and science. I hate working on Sundays. You need to manage money well. Released. He's not a good artist. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. Okay, so what they say is when it is Page 65, exercise four, pronunciation, unreleased and released. When there are, when there are two consonants, okay, so you don't, is, you don't put it together. So she's not good at math and science. I hate working. I need to manage money as well. But when is a a, a consonant with a vowel. So he says, he's not a, he's not a good artist. He's not a good artist. They really hate it. So you see, you join this sound. I need a, I need a cup of coffee. Is that clear? With consonant, you cannot put them together. But with a consonant and vowel, you put them together. He's not a, he's not a good artist. They really hate it. I need a I need a cup of coffee. Is that clear then? Yes. Okay, repeat after me. Yes. She's not a she's not good at math and science. I hate working on Sundays. I hate working on Sundays. You need to manage money well. Now, release. He's not a good artist. He's not, He's not, a, good a, good artist. not a good artist. They really hate it. They really, they hate, really it. hate it. I need a cup of coffee. I need a cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. He's not a good artist. He's not, He's not a good artist. Not a good artist. They, really they really hate it. They really hate it. I need a cup of coffee. I need a cup of coffee. Okay, so that's what happens when you have a consonant and a vowel. Okay, now listening, job hunting. Listen to people talk about the kind of work they are looking for. Check the job that will be best for each person. Okay, so Bill, what is best for him? Fly attendant, teacher, or songwriter? Shannon? What is good for her? Lawyer, bookkeeper, doctor. Ben, marine violist, violist, model, or architect. Here we go. Listen carefully, please. Wait, is this is not the one. This is the one. It's raining, teacher. Yeah, it's raining here too. Okay. Yes, let's hope that we're going to have good internet. 
even with this rain. Okay, now let's see what kind of job is best for Bill. Fly attendant. Fly attendant, that is correct. Okay, correct. Based on what they say, fly attendant is best for him. Okay, now listen to Shannon. Okay, so what chan what is the best job for Shannon? Doctor. doctor. A doctor. Mm -hmm. doctor. Very good. Now let's go and listen for Ben. Okay, what is the best job for Ben? Model. Model, that is correct. Now, Model. listen again and answer this question. What is Bill's attitude toward making money? Are you ready? So here we go, I'll play it again for you. Okay, so what is Bill's attitude toward making money? That he's not interested in, in earning a lot of money. Uh -huh. Maybe later. He can, yeah, he can worry about that later. So that is correct. Bill is not interested in making a lot of money. Okay, very good. Now, what does most of Chano's family do for a living? Listen. So, what does most of Chano's family do for a living? Hello? They run their own business, I think. Okay, listen again. I will play it again for you. Okay. 
I'll worry about that later. Two, Shannon. What kind of career are you planning for yourself? I don't know. I think I'd like to have a job where I can help people. Everybody else in my family is in law or business. You know, boring stuff like that. That's just not for me. I know I'd like to work overseas, though. Okay. What does most of Channel's family do for a living? Um, her family are... I don't know. I hear the, the word business. I don't know. Yeah, but they are in a lot of business. They are yes. in a lot of business, but she's not interested mm -hmm. in being in a lot of business. She's interested in helping people. Yes. Okay, what has been done to break into movies? Here, listen carefully. Maybe in a children's hospital in a developing country, but that's a long way away. I have to get into medical school first, and that's not going to be easy. That's a still Shannon. Here we go with Ben. What kind of job do I have in mind? Well, I don't want a regular nine to five job. Eventually, I'd like to get into acting, maybe even break into movies. But I guess that won't happen for a while. So what are you doing in the meantime? Well, I work out at the gym nearly every day. I need to be really fit. And I'm taking acting lessons as well so that I feel comfortable in front of the crowd. <laughs> I just had some pictures taken to show to agents in the city. Would you like to see them? Sure. Now, what is, what has been done to break into movies? Mm -hmm. I don't know, teacher. Goes, <laughs> goes to the gym. He has been going to the gym, okay? So he's been working out. And another, another thing that he has done is he, he has been going to acting lessons, to acting classes, okay? So he can be, he can feel comfortable if he needs to act in front of a crowd, okay? In front of people. Okay, let's continue. Now, speaking, okay, how do you feel? <coughs> How do you feel about doing your homework? Okay. How do you feel about washing the dishes? How do you feel about making phone calls? How do you feel about washing your clothes? How do you feel about organizing your desk? How do you feel about typing your school reports? How do you feel about buying groceries? How do you feel about ironing your clothes? How do you feel about commuting to and from school? Now, can you, everybody, ask me question number one. How? Everybody, everybody. Okay, how do you, do you feel about, how do you feel about yeah. doing your homework? Yeah. About Oh, I enjoy it. <laughs> okay, question number two. How, how do, do you feel about washing dishes? I don't mind it. I don't mind mm. it. I'm not crazy about doing it. I don't hate it, but I don't mind it. Okay, next. <laughs> how, how do you feel about cleaning your room? room? I don't mind it, okay? I don't enjoy it, but I don't hate it. I just don't mind it. Okay, the next one. How do you feel about making phone calls? Making phone calls. Ah, if it is not with my cell phone, I enjoy it. If it is with my cell phone, nah, I hate it because I have to spend money. Okay. Okay, next. next. How, do you, How do you feel about washing your clothes? Uh, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Next. How do you, How do you feel about organizing your desk? Your desk. Oh, I enjoy it. I enjoy organizing my desk. Next. How, How do you do you feel about typing your school report? In your school report. I hate it. I hate <laughs> typing all my school reports. Okay, next. 
How do you feel about buying groceries? I enjoy it. I enjoy it. Next. How do you feel about ironing your clothes? Ironing your clothes. I hate it. I hate it. I don't need my clothes. Next. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about going to and Okay, when there is no traffic, I enjoy it. When there is traffic, I hate it. Okay. Is that clear? Okay, yes. now yes. I'm going to I'm going to put you in pairs so you can ask. Remember, first you ask all these questions to your classmates and then at, when you finish, your classmate will ask you them. Is that clear? Take a picture, please. If you don't have the book, take a picture. Take a picture of this because you are going to need it. Did you take a picture? No. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Now, now I'm going, let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so I'm going to make six couples, okay? Six couples, so you can start working, okay? There you go. Eleonora, Eleonora and Maria Jose go to room number one. Karen and Maria Ernestina go to room number two. Alexandra and Irving go to room number three. Cindy and Guille go to room number four. Antonio and Ivan go to room number five. And Mario Marenko. Okay, I'm gonna move you to room number number two, okay? Go to room number two, Mario Marenko. Antonio, go to room number five, Antonio. Ivan, room number five. Alexandra, go to room number, uh, Mario, go to room number two. Very good. Take care. Alexandra, go to room number three. Yes, I'm listening. Antonio, go to room number five, please. Hello, Antonio. Are you there, Antonio? Okay, very good. Alexandra, what happened, Alexandra? Okay, very good. What happened, Antonio? Ching. Give me a ring. Ajá, desplazamiento. Teacher, teacher. Yes. Teacher, what does mean, what does mean uh, commuting? Commuting is going, going and returning from school. Going uh, and returning from school. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Going and Thank returning. Okay. Okay. 
Thank you, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> okay, Eleonora, mm -hmm. how do you feel about doing your homework? I enjoy it. Okay. Excellent. How do you, <laughs> <laughs> how do you feel about washing the dishes? Mm. I don't mind it. Okay. <laughs> uh. How do you feel about cleaning your room? I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about making phone calls? Mm, I don't mind it. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you feel about washing your clothes? Uh, I don't. I enjoy it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> How do you feel about organizing your desk? I enjoy it. How do you feel about typing your school reports? Mm, I don't mind it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How do you feel about buying groceries? I enjoy it. I like it. <laughs> How Hello. Very good. Everybody's back, huh? Okay. Now, let's continue. Now we are going to do this. Here on page, for the ones that has had the book, okay? On page, on page 67, we have this war power, personality traits. Okay, now repeat after me, bad tempered. Bad tempered. Everybody turn on bad your- Bad tempered. Bad tempered. Bad tempered. Bad tempered. Bad tempered. Creative. 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 Critical. 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 Okay. Disorganized. 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 Efficient. Efficient, forgetful, forgetful, forgetful. Generous. generous, generous, hardworking, hardworking, impatient, 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 level headed, level headed, level headed, moody, 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 moody. punctual. 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 Reliable. 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 Strict. 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 Now, strict. Which of these adjectives do you think are positive? For example, bad temper is negative. 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 Creative. Positive. 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 Critical. Positive. Negative. Positive. Negative. Negative. No. Positive or negative? Negative. negative. It depend, depends on what comment do you, do you, do you. <laughs> Okay, whatever do you, you say. You. Disorganized. Disorganized. Negative. 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 Efficient. Positive. 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 Forgetful. Negative. 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 You know what is the meaning of forgetful, right? Yes. 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 That he forget, he or she forget things. Generous. Positive. 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 Hardworking. Positive. Hardworking. Positive. 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 Impatient. Negative. 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 Level headed. Level headed. Mm -hmm. yeah. what? what is that, what teacher? What's the meaning? The person that keeps the levels like this. He doesn't go up or he doesn't go down. Okay, so level here is nivelado. Okay, no se altera. So uh, it's level here. Wow. Neither happy nor nor. Uh -huh. neither nor sad. Neither bad uh -huh. temper, neither so happy, right? So he is level headed. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mo uh -huh. So level headed, positive, right? Moody. Mm -hmm. Negative. 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 You know what is the meaning of moody, right? Uh, yes. Okay. No, teacher. Uh, no. Moody is like a 
Uh, in the morning, he's happy. At noon, he's angry. In the Beautiful. afternoon, <laughs> he is happy again. At night, he's angry again. So he is moody. Okay? So he changes it's his negative. moods. It's negative. Yes. Okay, negative. Punctual? Positive. 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 Reliable? Positive. Positive. Do you know what is the meaning of reliable? No. Okay, confiable. Okay, reliable. Mm. Que puede contar con él o con ella. Mm. It's reliable. Okay, okay strict? Strict. Positive. Positive or negative? Positive. Well, that mm. depends, right? If your boss is a strict, mm. it's negative. If you are a strict, it's positive. <laughs> okay. So tell your partner people you know with this personality trait. My neighbor is bad tempered. Okay, now let's see. Uh, okay, we're going to leave it right here. Now I want you to go to the workbook on page 55. Can you see it? So Teresa enjoys being a journalist. She has to write an, a new story by 4 p.m. every day. But she doesn't mind working under pressure. Okay? Now you have to use this. So we already use working under pressure. It's already used. Mm -hmm. Working under pressure. Now, Ishiro is a novelist, but he hates user use a computer. But he hates He's, use uh, a computer. That yeah. is correct. Very good. Now, when usually works alone all day, but she enjoys work with a, with a team. Work with a team. Okay, very good. That is correct. Very good. Okay, now Ellen works for a large company, but she's interested in? A start her own business. A start her a own start business, her own. that is correct. She's interested in a start her own business. Okay, Carlos has to use Portuguese and Japanese at work, but he's not very good at? Learn Learn languages. Languages. Not learning languages. Yes. Remember, Ishiro oh, is a novelist, but he hates using, using a computer. A computer. Okay, when usually works alone all day, but she enjoys working with a team. Working with a team. Remember, Jerons working with a team. Okay, okay. Ellen works for a large company, but she's interested in. Starting. 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 Starting here Starting own business. Starting business. business. Now, Carlos has to use Portuguese and Japanese at work, but he's not very odd. Learning languages. Learning languages. Okay. And Cindy has to drive to work every day, but she doesn't like. Commuting. 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 commuting, right? She doesn't commuting. like commuting. Okay, very good. Now let's keep on going. Okay, now rewrite these sentences. Find another way to say each sentence using the words given right here. I'm happy to answer the phone. So I don't mind answering the phone. Is that clear? Let's see. Mm -hmm. I can make decisions quickly. I'm not good making decisions. Uh, I'm not good at making decisions making. quickly. Making decisions. I am not good at making decisions. You remember Jerons, right? Mm -hmm. I am not good at making decisions quickly. Mm -hmm. Number three, I hate making mistakes. I can. I think standing 
No, a stand. You remember to use a stand, like in this one. Okay, so here. Okay. I can stand making mistakes. I can stand making mistakes. I can stand making mistakes. Like here. I can stand making mistakes. Okay, very good. I can stand making mistakes. Now, I don't enjoy working alone. I enjoy working with a team. Working with a team, right? I enjoy working with a team. Okay? Very good. Complete these sentences about yourself. Use gerunds. On the job or at school, I like meeting people, but I'm a little shy. What I can stand? Let's see. Uh, let me see. Who do we have right here? Okay, Mario. What do what I can stand? Remember, I can stand means I don't tolerate. I can stand with irritating people. I, okay, I can stand talking with talking. irritated people. Okay, very okay. good. Cindy, I don't mind. Um, I don't mind uh, the character of people. Yeah, but remember that we need a verb. Like in this case. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I don't mind doing your homework. I don't mind watching. I enjoy cleaning. I hate organizing. Cleaning. I can stand typing. So we need an ING for, oh. I don't mind. Mm, okay. For example, I don't mind cooking dinner for, for your husband. Mm -hmm. I don't mind reading my book. Remember that I don't mind means no me importa. I don't mind, I don't mind cooking breakfast, okay? Maria Ernestina, in my free time, I'm interested in? In my free time, I am, I am interested to in, in study um, English. Okay, very in good. The, I am the United interested, States. In interested in, 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 in studying English. Ivan, I'm not interested. I'm not interested in video games. In watching or playing? In playing video games. Uh -huh. I'm not interested in playing video games. Okay, let's see. Uh, Karen, at parties or in social situations, um, I am good at um, dancing. <laughs> uh -huh, okay. I am good at? I, I am go, good at dancing. Okay, I am good at dancing. Very good. Moving the boat. Uh -huh. okay. Moving the boat. <laughs> <laughs> now, Alexandra, what are you, why you aren't very good at? At parties or in social situations? The number seven. Number seven. Okay. I'm not very good at cooking the meal. Okay, cooking the meal. I don't know if I say it. Okay, I'm not very good at singing in social situations. Okay. At singing. Okay, now, you remember the vocabulary that we just learned, right? Choose yeah. the correct words. Number one. Uh, Eleonora? Yes, teacher. 
son doesn't smile or laugh a lot. He often looks worried about things. He's a very um, serious person. He's a very serious person. That is correct. Very good. Irving, what is number two? Uh, you can trust Rosa. If she says she's going to something, she'll do it. She'll do it. Sorry. She'll do it. She's very uh, hardworking. No. What is correct, everybody? Reliable. 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 <laughs> right? Reliable. Confiable. Okay, very good. Uh, let me see. Mario. No, Maria Ernestina. Number three. Yes, teacher. <clears throat> Joe isn't good at remembering things. Last week, he's missing another important business meeting. He is so uh, efficient. No, he isn't good at remembering. Forget. Forgetful. Ah, he is so, so forgetful. He is so forgetful. Remember, forgetful means that he forgets. Okay? Okay. Okay, very good. Now, do you have any questions, guys? No. Are you no. sure? Yes. 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 Okay, now take a look. We are going to start looking at perspectives, jobs, profiles. Okay, so listen about everyone. Here we go. <clears throat> Exercise eight, word power, personality traits, part C. Listen to four conversations, then check the adjective. Okay, wait, wait, that is not it. Okay, this is it. Page 67, exercise nine, perspective, job profiles, part A. Listen to these people answer the question, what kind of work would you like to do? What job does each person talk about? Well, I think I'd make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. When I was in college, I worked as a reporter for the school newspaper. I really enjoyed writing different kinds of articles. I know what I don't want to do. A lot of my friends work in the stock market but I could never be a stockbroker because I can't make decisions quickly. <laughs> I don't mind working hard, but I'm terrible under pressure. I'm still in school. My parents want me to be a teacher, but I'm not sure yet. I guess I could be a teacher because I'm very creative. I'm also very impatient, so maybe I shouldn't work with kids. Okay, now, any questions about this? Page 67, exercise nine, perspectives, job profiles, part A. Okay, any questions about this? What oh, kind of work would you yeah. like to do? What job does each person talk about? Okay, what is uh, this guy talking about? What is the job? Journal. Journal. Journalist. journalist, right? He's yes. talking about being a journalist. Okay, now he says, I think I make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. Okay, so pay attention to that because tomorrow we're going to be working with clauses with because. Okay. I think I make a good journalist because I'm good at writing. Okay? Now, okay. what about this girl? What did she say? Stockbroker. Ah, a stockbroker or a stock market. Now, look, I could 
Never be a stockbroker. Because I can make decisions quickly. Okay? So, this is another way that we can make clauses using because. I could never be a stockbroker because I can make decisions quickly. Is that clear? Yes. And at last, yes. what is the profession that she is talking about? Teacher. A teacher. Teacher. Uh -huh. huh? A teacher. Okay, so here it says, I could be a teacher, a teacher. because I'm very... Creative. 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 Creative, right? So she's also talking about with clauses with because. Now, which of these three jobs will you choose? Which of these three jobs would you like to have? Uh, maybe a teacher. Maybe a teacher. Yeah. Okay, I hire you. <laughs> yeah. Yo lo contrato, okay? No problem, an English teacher. Yes, why not? Yes, a good profession. Because okay, the only thing is you, you don't make a lot of money. You make just a little money, okay? <laughs> so... Here we go. And this is what we are going to do tomorrow. We are going to make clauses with because. You see, she say, I make a good journalist because, because I'm good I at writing. writing. I could be a teacher right. because, because I am very, I am very creative. 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 I wouldn't want to be a teacher because, because I'm very, very impatient. impatient. I could never be a stockbroker because I can make decisions quickly. Is that clear? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, so yes. take a picture of this. Take a picture and tomorrow you are going to tell me what expression goes with this. Okay, you have to match the endings. For example, I wouldn't want to be a nurse. Why? Because I don't like hospitals. I don't like hospitals. I like to be a novelist. Because I love creative because writing. I love creative because, writing. because I love creative writing. I could never be an accountant. Because, because, because I am terrible, terrible with numbers. I'm bad at numbers. With numbers. Because I'm terrible with numbers. I will make a bad waiter. Because, because, because I have a terrible, a terrible, terrible memory. memory. Because memory. I have a terrible memory. I will be a flight attendant. Because, because I really enjoy really traveling. traveling. Because I really uh, enjoy really traveling, okay? Okay. Okay, so very good. Now you can make clauses with because. And, and that means that you can go and you can do section number five. Remember, you can do knowledge check number 5.4 with this Jerome's with your responses. And you can do listening exercise, job hunting. And you can do clauses with because, knowledge check, 5.13, okay? And we'll be ready for the exam. Tomorrow we will practice more clauses with because. But if you want to go ahead and start doing this, we'll be ready to take the final exam. Is that clear? Okay, very good. Thank you very much for your time. And I will see you tomorrow night, okay? Okay. okay. Have a wonderful night. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.